Good afternoon, this is Pam with Follow Your Brush, and I'm so glad you popped in today to see what I'm doing. As you know, if you follow me already, and I know I have some new subscribers, so welcome, glad to have you. Basically, I am a watercolor adventurist. I learn as I go, and when I'm learning and sharing, I will share it with you. So that's what we're gonna do today. I wanted to talk about special effects. I already tried some and basically I just kind of made a big mess. So I'm gonna focus on just a couple because I did try to do too much to show at one time and my video was too long, even I wouldn't have watched it. So let's get into this. I'm gonna just feature a couple things. One is this quill bamboo marker that is really cool. I learned about this from Jill Williams. If you don't watch Jill, I highly recommend Jill Williams. You can find her on YouTube and she's also has a community at jillwilliams.com. So I learned about this from her. Uh, this one I did with some brush -o. It's a crystal uh, pigments and I have a little pinpoint in the top because it doesn't take much and you can um, spread it around really fast. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was, um, uh, which I also learned from Jill, is doing some work with um, golf wax, the paraffin wax. This is also kind of cool. I'm not going to tape this off, but I am going to zoom in a little bit on this, this one corner so you can see what I'm doing. I am going to just try to keep it to this one little area here. But this is like a wax um, resist. So you can put it down and draw little things. You can sharpen it. Jill sharpens hers with a razor. I haven't done that yet because um, I just haven't. But it's kind of cool uh, just to kind of leave some textures like maybe some grass type textures. You can't really see it but you will see it in a minute because it's not going to be affected by the paint when I put the paint on it. Today, I'm not using my uh, Levinson brushes simply because I'm playing with some other types of pigments and inks and I don't wanna ruin my brushes. So the brushes that I'm using today are just some inexpensive brushes that I got from Amazon. They're called Fumi. They're supposed to be um, real sable. I don't know. Um, they're made in China. So I don't know if they really are or not, but that's what they say. And they're, they don't cost a whole lot. So it's kind of fun just to have an old extra supply handy. I'm going to come in here with some Caribbean turquoise from um, my Michael Harding collection. And you can see how this wax resist leaves the areas white. So there's all kind of things you could do with this. Um, you can do grasses, you could do, I didn't think about it when I started doing this little painting, but you could even do like little waves or um, something. You know, if you want to do like a little beach scene or whatever, just do a little area here. And um, it's really kind of cool to leave the white of your paper. And if you want to um, be able to draw in a little pattern, you can do so. Kind of come in here with a little bit of a different color. Let me kind of come in with some phthalo blue. And go over top of that, kind of blend these a little bit. So that's a, it's just kind of a fun new discovery for me is using this paraffin wax. It's it's very inexpensive. You can get it at the grocery store. It's like what people use for canning. Um, and it comes in chunks that are they're kind of brittle, but um, you can. I just kind of went around mine with some um, scissors and or you can score it with a razor blade and then um, 
break it off what the pieces that you want to use. Um, I really have nothing in mind, you know, I'm just playing, but just kind of watching and seeing what things do. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like a little abstract here. <laughs> kind of got a, I don't know, I got a wheel going here. But um, that's just one way of making special effects. There are so many different things you can do when you're painting to um, give it a little different texture or effect when you're painting. Not just changing colors, but the wax is one, one way you can do something. I'm gonna add a little bit of indigo up here because once I start playing, you know, it's just hard for me to stop. The wax area will not ever come up like a masking fluid though. So you need to be aware of that. Uh, once it's on there, it's on there. So you need to kind of plan ahead if you want to use it for your grasses or something, but see how it's it leaves that white of that paper. But it can kind of leave some cool uh, shapes and marks. And then it's up to you what you come in and do over it. See, I can do some stuff here in the corner. Let this just kind of run. So it's kind of fun, kind of a fun thing. So that is one special effect I wanted to share with you today. And uh, we could even like hold it this way and have another type of view, right? And come in this way and do something. I don't know. It's just kind of fun. It's just kind of fun to play with. The other thing I want to show you, and I'm going to do this up on this part right here. Up here. So make sure you can see it. I'm going to come in and I'm going to just wet this area. My brush isn't totally clean. Sorry about that. I've been kind of playing, so my I need some fresh water. But that's okay. I'm just gonna wet this and um, give you some other ideas about how to use this little coil pen that I also learned from Jill. I like watching Jill. I learn a lot from Jill. <laughs> she's she's a great uh, mentor teacher. Uh, let's come in with some red for some Christmas colors, right? This time we're going to, I'm going to show you how to use that, that little coil marker. I have left some white in my paper. So I'm just going to kind of come around here and... Play. Leave some areas white, just okay, just let it go however it wants to go. But what I wanted to show you that you can do that I did with that other one with that blue one. I think this needs some yellow. I'm gonna add some yellow to it. There we go, that's a nice orange. I'm gonna get a nice, brilliant area here. Like I say, I'm just playing, so this is nothing that has been planned ahead. But I kinda like the, the color variation here and the diagonal lines. I like that. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of blue in here. <laughs> so I got some green coming down here too. Just gonna go outside and have a little scene out here. Have a very Merry Christmas. Let's go outside and go for a walk. So I got some sunlight, I got some 
maybe some sunset going on here. Come in with some blue. We're going to get some green textures there going. The whole idea of this video is to show you how you can just do just different things, different effects, and um, special effects. I remember when we were kids, we used to think those 3D movies were the greatest ever. So if you want to add a little interest to your paintings, there are some different ways and things that you can do. It's going to kind of keep this diagonal with this blue and the yellow and just kind of give us a little, little, little scene of some trees and the sunset maybe. I'm going to go over in here with a little bit more pigment. These Michael Harding paints blend really well, actually, on the paper. Uh, they're so pigmented, and I, I really like what they do. And you can see how it's um, giving me these beautiful different shades without mixing ahead of time on my palette, although I do have my palette here. But I just kind of like what it's doing with these different effects. Okay, now what I wanted to show you with this um, with this little this marker or bamboo quill is when it's just slightly wet like this. Zoom in a little bit more. Still a little bit damp, but you can come in with this marker and kind of score into your picture. Now, a lot of the trees that I'm seeing outside right now, I call them the skeletons because, you know, that's kind of what you see in there. You don't really see a lot of the leaves right now. And this is one way you can get those bare tree looks. You kind of have a hint in the background that something else might, other colors might be there in the sky or in the background, but you can come in with this little bamboo quill and make some really cool textures in your painting. And I think they're really kind of neat. Um, I'm gonna have these be the bigger ones here, and this is just gonna kind of come off into the distance, so I'm gonna have these a little smaller. Now, this is not going to give you the white of your paper. It's just scoring the paper, what you've already done. And as you can see, it's going to be different. Do some little horizontal lines. So kind of pretend like we got the ground coming down here. So we have a horizontal pattern for our land plane. But I like these. I, I, I really like playing with this, and I think it's fun. It's not going to leave you the white like your wax will. Um, and the wax, you know, with this wax, you can come back over. Let me show you that. This isn't real sharp, but we can come back over where the where I already did the blue. And let's come back over that with a darker blue. Come back over here with some indigo. So... I can come back and add some wax over the blue so I have it over the white you see that but then I also just came in and added some wax over that original color of blue and now I can have a whole different whole different effect and I like that um, this kind of gives me the effect of a night night sky and some maybe some trees in the dark that are just kind of shining out there so you know that's just something else you can do um so that's the only two i'm going to show you because otherwise i would get too long-winded here and we would get carried away and you'd turn off my video if you haven't already <laughs> hopefully you haven't so it's wax resist 
golf wax that you get from the grocery store. Zoom back out. Uh, the paraffin wax that you get at the grocery store, you can break it off into chunks, into little pieces, and um, score it with a razor or a knife and make these marks. And you don't have to make them that thick. You can make them thinner. Um, right now, my hands are just kind of bugging me. So it's not be, they're not being very cooperative. But look here, maybe there's some thinner marks there. Yeah, maybe a little bit thinner if it even got on there. Let me see. Yeah, I got a little bit on there. You see that right there? So you can sharpen it uh, with a razor or with a knife and get different different textures. It's kind of fun. Um, let me do one real quick. Just here, like if you just want to do like a snowbank. Let's try that. Look there, you can just do a snowbank with the sparkles in the get some trees in here. But there are other, uh, you know, there's just so many ways you can use this and um, have some fun results with it. So um, it doesn't have to be lines; it can just be some textures and some fun, fun stuff like that. So have some fun. Here's just a couple ideas. I really like this um, quill marker. I got all of that from Amazon and I'm using Arches paper and these brushes are just inexpensive from Amazon, from Fumi, it's supposed to be sable. Uh, who knows? You can also add some water to this. Add some textures that way, some little surprises. Splatter, salt. You know, there's so many things you can do. I like this one that I did earlier with the bamboo um, quill. I, I really like that technique, so I'll probably be playing with that for a while. But I hope you have a great day, and uh, I have some other new things to show you. I just don't want to do them all at one time, or this would just go on forever. But thanks for watching and subscribing and liking and all those things that we do. See you later. Bye.